Good evening and welcome to another episode of NTV Unscripted. We're live and we're here in the studio today in London and I'm here with a fantastic guest um, who you'll get to meet shortly. But before I introduce this wonderful person, today is a jam-packed show. We're going to be learning about how people have made it to Bollywood, Hollywood and how you yourself will have a chance to be in Hollywood blockbuster. Yes, you heard it here first. But before we go ahead with all of that, let me introduce you to my fantastic guest, the wonderful businesswoman, Nina Nastel. Nina, thank you for coming today. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. At such short notice as well. <laughs> I know, I know, and, uh, but it's my pleasure to be here today. Yeah, we were delighted to meet you. And listen, um, the reason I wanted you to come today and be first is you have such an illustrious career. You've done so, so much. A businesswoman, model, TV, actor, <laughs> mother, most importantly. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna find out all about you. Let's just take it back to the beginning and start from the early days. Where did yeah. you grow up and how did it happen? Uh, yeah, so I'm from Oslo, Norway. Um, and uh, yes, I grew up there uh, until I was in my 20s. Um, and, um, you know, obviously I uh, had my sports career while I was growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, I started when I was seven. Till wow. I was 19, so I went to a uh, top athletic private school in Norway, um, and yes, we trained up till three times a day, competing every weekend. Uh, so sports has always been a big part of my life, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, uh, when I got a little bit older, I also did the modeling on the side, um, which I always have kind of loved, uh, being in front of the camera mm -hmm. and um, being in that industry. I always found that interesting, so I started quite early and. Um, and then, yeah, uh, this is, um, I think being uh, kind of raised in Norway, um, you know, we have that kind of humble down to earth, Scandinavian kind of feel to it. It's very safe. Um, and um, I think I've been blessed to, to, to be in Norway growing up. Mm, I think I love Scandinavians. I have to say a lot of Norwegian <laughs> friends as well. Um, so obviously you were a child, then you were an athlete at a very, very young age. Yeah. And you went, really took that to the top of, you could have, the, the, the first sort of the stars really. So when did you go from doing that to then the modeling and, and then obviously you had a family as well? Yeah, so I mean, obviously uh, in the end of my career, I obviously had around 300 championships medals. Um, mm. I competed around Europe. Uh, with the Norwegian championship team um, and uh, you know that was a very full-on and I think that gave me a lot in life also to where I am today as a businesswoman yes. uh, to be blessed to be you know uh, doing so well within the sports uh, pushing myself uh, having those goals at a young age and achieving them mm. and, and learning to actually get to know uh, who I am and, and be driven in that way to achieve certain things um, so I, I'm very grateful to have that as a past because I do believe that has a lot to do with where I am today. Mm. Uh, but yeah, then obviously I d did the modeling on the side. Then I traveled quite a bit. And uh, during travel, I met my husband. And, um, and yes, we settled down in the UK because we were both there at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I also did some modeling jobs there. And um, I uh, had my three children. Yes, um, wonderful. Uh, two beautiful girls and a boy. In five uh, years, I may add. I, I, exactly, <laughs> in five years. Um, yeah, today they are 15, 13 and 11. Mm. So, um, had the beautiful kids and one month later I launched my business. Uh, so going back to where that started, my grandmother was always in the industry. Uh, she had stores in Norway. Mm. So it was always part of my upbringing. Um, I always was part of her being in the store, in the fashion, and obviously I also studied at S mode in Norway. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously I had a degree from there, which um, you know kind of was part of my journey. It was natural for me. Yes, it was something that I always wanted to do, and I always had um, and been inspired by my grandmother and, and what she did. Uh, so coming to London, and while I was pregnant, obviously I had some time. The kids were young, <laughs> and. Um, I had time to, to actually you know, focus and um, look into uh, what I wanted to start in yes. the UK and work on, on the brand concept, work on the business plan. Um, and I found the perfect store in Walton Street, yeah. just down the road for Harrods. Yes. Um, and I put on a big launch uh, one month after my third child was born. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so a lot of people do it the other way around. Yes. But for me, um, I, I believe that if an opportunity comes, you take it. Yeah. And, and, and it's about what you are driven by and what you want in your life. Exactly. Uh, timings is never going to be perfect. There's always going to be a reason yes. that something, something else is going to keep you busy, especially if you are a very driven person. Mm. So. Uh, I launched a store and that's you know just over 10 years ago now okay. and um, yes we'll talk a little bit about you yes. know the journey but it's been um, an incredible journey yeah and and you know we've got, we've got some pictures I think the producers will put those up shortly yeah. but you've um, have a, have had an illustrious career I mean yeah. you're still very young anyway <laughs> I have to say yeah. um, but you know the people that you've met in your life I mean you've you've, you've obviously traveled the world yeah um, Tell us about some of the sort of the TV stuff that you've done and some of the, the films as well. Yeah, so uh, I think for me, starting my brand uh, was the beginning of, of, of obviously my career and my journey to, to come to the level where I am today. Uh, but um, I think because I had quite an interesting lifestyle, I traveled quite a lot. Um, you know, that ha always inspired me mm. with my collections, uh, cultures, people, art, you know, everything you see, feel smell you know that's that's something that brings me inspiration to to actually what I do and what I create mm. um, and you know having that journey traveling you know quite a lot um, it also came with an interest of an interesting lifestyle mm. um, so obviously the Nina now style limited is a lifestyle brand mm. and I think uh, you know for TV that that's an interesting uh, point for people to see you know how you manage all of that together yes. um, and so I started I was kind of approached to do several TV programs uh, my children also joined those nice. and um, <laughs> we just enjoyed doing that together it was mm. actually quite a nice thing and Lovely. it kind of fitted hand in hand with uh, obviously having your own brand so mm. you know people will get to know it you know they will get to see it um, and um, yeah, one of the programs, obviously, I worked a lot with ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, mm -hmm. um, etc. And, you know, the main channels in Norway as well, TV2 and, and some international channels. But one of them was sold to 37 different countries. Wow. So, and it's still showcasing it today. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's more lifestyle programs and um, it just worked very well hand in hand with the business. Yes. Um, so that was kind of something I continuously kept on doing you know, on the side of my business as well. Mm. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just perplexed by the amount of things you've managed to squeeze in in the short space of time. Yeah. Um, it really is fascinating. So the, obviously the TV stuff and the film stuff, we'll talk about that later because there's something yeah. you're going to just leave us with. Um, but in terms of the business then, tell us what's, what's happening now. What, you, what, what can we look forward to? Yeah, um, so I mean obviously I launched my brand which is uh, probably most known for the high-end red carpets, uh, haute couture, yes. uh, but I do have all the products within the range. It is a lifestyle brand, so you have uh, clothing for, for your pets, you have, you know, you have accessories, you have a bridal, yes. uh, you have um, leathers, you know, the cocktail dresses, yes. it's, it's a whole range. Um, and obviously, as my grant grew over the last 10 years, um, we kept on adding new collections and new products. Yes. And, and that's the kind of beauty of, of having that over the last 10 years, where it's now complete. Uh, but obviously, I added my new exciting yes. um, uh, product to it, uh, which has been getting launched this year as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's kind of something it's very personal to me so i'm mm -hmm. go obviously bringing my you know my expertise of 10 years in fashion going back to my athlete career mm -hmm. and launching a sports brand brilliant um so it's called dun dunk mm -hmm. and we already have the shop in the 19 shepherd's market in mayfair nice and um you know it's just getting prepared at the moment uh, and it's going to be the most, I mean, I, I want to honor sports legends yes. or legends in, in, in the industry in general. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the front of it and being able to share that and, and, and giving that back to people who have been so talented and spent their whole life on mm. Inspire Others. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that also is something that I'm very excited about, you know, with this brand yes. in general. Uh, but so it is everything from, from trainers to 
uh, you know, we'll be adding tracksuits, etc. But and these are well-known brands, I may add. They are well-known. Yes, yes, of course, well-known brands. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a bespoke service where obviously we have art combined with the shoes. Mm -hmm. So you can paint specific things or put your name on it or wow. put a personal quote on it nice. or uh, a Valentine's thing or, or, you know, we can actually put your face on it wow. um, uh, or your, the, the name of your team um, so, or your boyfriend or, you know, anything is possible. So we kind of, that's the exclusive side of it is obviously what I'm known for in the industry and mm. it's nice to add that touch to it mm -hmm. uh, and it's a product that everyone wears. Yes. Um, trainers, it's, um, it's for the whole family yeah. and really anyone mm. um, and I probably would say that you know we we probably are one of the most compatible prices in the market mm. we will be and we can get the clients anything they want mm. um, so you know that there is a lot of people who collect certain shoes and there is a lot of you know shoes sports shoes you can't get yes, um, yeah. and that's also one of our exclusive sides of the business right. that we want to give to our you know specific clients yeah fabulous <laughs> it's amazing i can't wait to let yeah. it so i'm gonna be there opening night hopefully yeah so um what does the future hold for dina now you seem to have ticked lots and lots of things off the bucket list yeah so where do we where do we go now um <laughs> yeah i mean obviously i've done i've been head judge on on, on several obviously i did space universe norway when i was younger yeah um, and then obviously I've done quite a lot of um, uh, separate ones in the UK, uh, Beauty and Brains, yes. Miss Exotica, you know, like it's nice to be able to do, um, to give back to women, give them a platform, mentoring yes. them mm -hmm. and, and, and also when it's involved with charities as well. Um, it's it's very nice to be able to do that and mm. encourage people to, to go for their dreams. Yes. That's also something I do on the side that I enjoy. Um, and obviously, I entered recently into a little bit of movies and a little bit of music. Wow. Um, so uh, I have a horror movie and a Bollywood movie coming out end of the year wow. that I have a small role in, which Fantastic. is quite exciting. Yeah, excellent. Um, and I have produced some music, or my producer Jungle Boy has uh, he's produced a song with me mm -hmm. called Boss that we are launching later this year as well. Fabulous. Um, and obviously, I've already performed performed it quite a few times already, um, and I'm really enjoying that journey um, of the music side of things. It's really inspiring, and um, music is just something that you know everybody. It makes you feel good. Yes. Um, so putting them all together is just about being creative yeah. and and giving from yourself. Mm. Um, so yes, we have the launch of the song. We have the couple of movies coming out in December. Uh, the launch of the store, which <laughs> is going to be something amazing. Yes. Um, and um, what else do we have? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do, I, I think we should talk about how you, you involve your children in the business. Because I yeah. think that's absolutely lovely what you do. And yeah. what you're, you're giving them a, an opportunity as well. Tell us about that. Um, for me, I think it's obviously, uh, I've, I'm quite proud of what I do. And I, I love what I do. And, you know... Uh, being able to share that with my children from mm. they were very young, mm. um, you know, they they walked in my fashion shows, they do runways, um, you know, obviously they do campaigns, photo shoots. Uh, they're used to being in front of the camera, being on TV. Um, I think it's just obviously this has been their choice. Um, they love it, yes. uh, <laughs> which is a blessing <laughs> to me. But I think that's also combined with us making it into something natural enjoyment you know yes. something that we can enjoy all together yes. um, and um, it's, it's just nice to be able to share that and them also you know to spend that time with me and understand what I do mm. uh, obviously when you you work quite a bit as a, as a mom uh, you want your kids to understand actually you know what kind of business you do and what you spend your time on yes. and um, having them involved in that and appreciating what I do um, that's something very special for me. Yes. And yeah. then will you pass the, the baton when you're ready to retire? Or do, I do mean, you think I, I, I want to <laughs> leave them a legacy, hopefully, <laughs> which is already in place and, you know, because they already know the business quite well now. Mm. And that's also the nice thing. I'm hoping that one of them obviously yeah. would want to do that. Yes. Um, that's the ultimate goal for me, I think, you mm. know, to know that one of your children appreciate, you know, the work that you put in and they actually enjoy the same thing and wants to continue that. Yeah. Um, so yes, I think as a mother that would be probably the ultimate goal.
So yeah. I think we've got a picture up on our screen. There we go. There you are with your the new business. Wear. Yes. Yeah. So it's I mean you do take a good picture. I will say <laughs> that. <laughs> I yeah, can I mean, see why I, you do what you do. Different doing. things that I do as well, obviously. I do, I do work with a lot of brands. Mm. I do a lot of uh, influencing, mentoring. Um, and obviously, brands come to me. Uh, you know, I do campaigns yeah. um, and exposure. I mean, it depends from company to company and obviously modeling on the side. Um, mm. So this is something that I just enjoy. If the project is interesting, I still take it on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> Do you ever think I've just got too much on my plate, or is it just like my plate's not full enough? <laughs> I don't know. I've always been like that. I, 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 I don't know. I have to be a person. I wake up in the morning, and I was like, mm. okay, I have a, f I have I have to have something that encourages me, drives me. Yeah. Um, and I think yes, sometimes probably I prob take on too much sometimes. Mm. But I think one thing inspired me to do the next thing. And I, I do believe that when you keep on going from one thing to another, also you, you create opportunities for yourself. Right. And you get, you know, every journey has an experience. Mm. So in every step stone, you, you, you know, you do something and choose to take, use that opportunity, even if you don't know if it's actually going to benefit you a lot or a little or maybe nothing. Mm. Um, it's still something that you can bring on for your future. You still meet a certain amount of people mm -hmm. um, which can turn into something else or you learn how to deal with situations that maybe didn't turn out the way you want it to be mm. and you learn that maybe that's not the direction you want to go that's right so you know i always try to kind of look at things um you know in business side of things like in a positive way yes. where even if it doesn't give the result you want to turn out in the way you want it to be you still take something good from it yes and you know it just narrows down where you want to go in the future I agree yeah that's a great way to think <laughs> well look you know obviously that's that we we get on because of the similar synergies exactly but we have like three minutes to the commercial break my yeah. producer's telling me which is kind we are live by the way as you know um so what would you say to anyone watching particularly mothers yeah. women um, what kind of advice can you give them if they either want to have their own business or they want to get into the media what's the um, I mean, f mothers in general, I think, yes, it's not depending on what situation you're in, you know, are you, are you alone, are you, do you have family support, do you have your partner with you, husband, whatever, you know, it's, but regardless of that, I think, you know, as I just mentioned, the more you kind of take a chance and put yourself out there, even if it's just part time and you, you, you make the effort to try it out, mm -hmm. uh, you are going to meet or get new experiences, which would you have to do to go to the next level. Mm. Um, and, and, and you will figure out more about yourself and you will always keep on learning. So, I mean, the main thing is to just kind of uh, don't be scared to kind of uh, take the next step. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for mothers in general, it's inspiring uh, to be a mother and you know for your child to see you know that you are making the effort and doing something with your life of any job they're doing um, because life it's it's not as easy today you yes. know um, being a, a parent and I mean even for men mm -hmm. and being a parent and and doing the business on the side exactly yeah <laughs> and here we have the family picture there. Is that Lindsay Lohan? I can yeah, see. Yeah, that's Lindsay oh, Lohan. That's Fava's. These yeah. are fabulous. <laughs> so you, 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 do you, know George, if, you do know yeah. a few celebrities then? Um, <laughs> yes. I mean, obviously with me, yeah, that's Ronaldo. We, we do the kind of lifestyle and traveling and the industry I am and putting myself out there and working hard. Um, you know, you, you have results in the end. And once you have results, you're, you're blessed enough to mm -hmm. actually be in situations with people that you know are mm. talented and and um, you know good at what to do in the industry so yes I have met a few quite Thank a lot you. of you know inspiring people uh, from music to to royals to sports we're just about to go to a commercial break Nina yeah. thank you so much I'm sorry to stop <laughs> you, you there thank I'll you see you guys me. see you soon <laughs> Welcome back to NTV Unscripted. Um, I'm Victoria Beale, your host this evening. Thank you for joining us and I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Um, we met our beautiful Nina Nastal earlier um, as our first guest, talking about her rise um, and her career to date. Now we're going to talk to another rising star, well, a risen star really, um, who is a self-made um, entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, um, and now he's putting all of his um, 
sort of goodness and uh, network to good use and trying to save the communities is doing a fantastic job. Please welcome the wonderful Yusuf Khan. Thank you very much. Listen, it's lovely to see you. How are you? Very well, very well. <laughs> have you done live TV before? I, um, I have once Great. or twice. Right. Well, we're very honoured to have you here. Um, you let's start at the beginning, first of all, where you grew up and uh, started your early, yes. early career. Sure, I grew up in East London, very humble background. Um, my dad worked in a factory making toys. Uh -huh. And um, so we weren't short of toys, but um, we never received any pocket money. Oh, okay. So the only way I, I could get money was to work. So at the age of 12, I worked on a market store on my kind of, uh, on the weekends to, to kind of get pocket money. And, and I thought that was normal. Mm. So it was great, it was great fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And we talked about the work ethic earlier with instilling the children, how it pays off. Obviously it has with you. Certainly. So you went from the market stall, went mm. through school. Were you a good child at school? Or? Mostly, oh, <laughs> in the early part, I, never, I mean, r understand, I grew up in East London and um, there's a lot of gang culture back in, back in the days as well, right. so, mm. um, you know, I weren't really particularly part of any gang, but, but you had to, I, I weren't really focused on studying at the beginning, right. I only realised afterwards that, hey, that's the way forward, it's not into, you know, getting into gangs or anything like that, it's mm -hmm. about, you know, um, having a great education and then moving up. Yeah. And you obviously started you started working. I think you were working in financial services, didn't you? I did. When you left. I did. So you did that and then you went into something completely different. It's really interesting because the reason I went into financial services, um, this career teacher at school had said, I said, I would like to get into banking. <laughs> and the career teacher said, <laughs> It's going to be really difficult for you to get into <laughs> banking, right? So, like, totally put me off. But, but actually, it never put me off. It, 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 it drove me to actually succeed in that. Mm. So um, a lot of my family at the time were in manual labour kind right. of work. And mm. I thought, hey, that's a bit too difficult. I want, I want something a bit easier. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's get into a, an office type environment and, um, and just work up from there. And that's what I did. And that's what you did. Yeah. And then obviously you, got, you did your time in the banks, I, I think, did. did you? I did, did. you get bored or was it something else no, that caught your eye? Brilliant. So I started off, my first job in the bank was opening the post <laughs> and, <laughs> on his, and, and parking the, the manager's cars, wow. right? So that was my first job and I moved up to cashier and I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. But actually I finished off banking as, as a programme director uh, working on a, a multi-million pound projects well um, it was called Basel 3 right. um, and you know uh, a regulatory program which cost the bank billions if mm -hmm. it was go going wrong so I worked that was my last um, project that I worked on big mm. program so really pleased where I ended up yes. not many people know me as into banking and no. uh, as a banker <laughs> uh, more, people, more people know <laughs> me as um, you know, bodyguards but that's mm. actually where my bread and butter yeah. um, from banking and then into properties into property and yeah. tell us about the property journey what, how did that start and what did you do um, property journeys I, I got into properties when the self cert mortgages were available so really right. we could just say I, I promise to pay back mm. I can afford this house and and a lot of people around me kind of did the same so we, we took a, a risk mm. um, calculated risk and and it paid off and and today I could I could I don't need to work anymore so mm. thank God so yeah. so really what I'm all about now I don't want to continue making money so much. I'm more focused on what can I now give back, give back. because I came from a very humble background yes. and I now want to help my local community and, and the wider community. So that's what I'm more into. And the producers are asked, there's the childhood picture that <laughs> the producer just told me <laughs> in my ear. This, this is, is this is, <laughs> <Who's> <laughs> this is <that>? <laughs> <laughs> This is in East London. That's me and my brother, um, the earlier picture. And, and that's just a very small house in East London right. um, where, where we grew up. And you might recognise, oh, there's, Shilpa Shetty, there's another um, lady we recognise, yeah. Yeah, uh, Amir Khan. Yeah, Amir Khan, boxer. fantastic. Um, and that's me now, like I was in Dubai earlier on this year, um, staying at the Burj Al Arab, so I'm really fortunate to be able to do that. And, the, and, and we've got the, the other picture there of the, the beauty contest no. that we're going on to now. So, yes. the, so the whole you know, reason Yusuf and I are talking is because you kindly asked me to help present these awards last was it last yes. weekend last Monday wasn't it was on it? Monday so it, it was literally Monday feels like weeks in, ago now in Chigwell, yes. <laughs> and that was fantastic I was very proud to be there but this was um th this had a very serious reasoning for mm. for this for this awards do you want to explain that so yeah the BB awards and the beauty pageant that followed afterwards 
the core reason for this is a fundraiser mm. um, where we're helping uh, vulnerable kids move away from knife crime. So the community project that we're working on is uh, drop the knife and succeed in life. Brilliant. And um, you know what we what we tend to do there is we we trouble some kids in school. Um, which I believe need to be given uh, an opportunity. Um, so we bring them into a, on a 10 week boxing program. Yep. Um, so what that does provide is a bit of discipline, um, helps them to release their aggression. And the only reason they stay, they can stay on the program is if their grades improve or their behavior improves in school. Right. So it does encourage KPIs them. KPIs yeah. as such. That's the key performance mm. indicators. Yeah, that, that's kind of what we look at. So, um, and it's been really successful so we have a business model mm -hmm. we could um, apply that to any boxing club around the UK right um, exactly so, yes. so that's what we're looking for now aren't we boxing yes. clubs yeah people who want to get involved because knife crime sadly is becoming a bit of a problem um, in this country and we kind of the three of us here and many others want to prevent that from happening further we want a safe place to grow, to grow up our, our own kids really so certainly but um, what you're doing is amazing, and obviously this is how we met the beautiful Nina, or how, it is. how I met her. But how long have you two known each other? Known for, um, about, what, a couple of years? Yeah, I mean, yeah more than that. I and guess. and um, I, I love Nina, that, that the fact that Nina's really busy, as you've, as you've just kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> discovered, right? Yes. And Nina always takes time out and it helps yeah. her, comes down voluntarily comes down and become uh, she and Nina's our head judge mm. and and thank you for that because I, I really appreciate it It does inspire the women as well so it does. although we've got one side where it's the um, the knife crime raising funds there we're also empowering the women mm -hmm. that are coming into the beauty pageant so our beauty pageant as well as the awards the beauty pageant is completely different there's no bikini rounds or no. anything like that it's all about um, <coughs> The, the women, what, where they are at the moment, where they see themselves in two, three years' time, it's all about encouraging them to, to, to kind of go for their dreams yes. uh, and things like that. And, and also, um, the prizes that we've given away are a lot bigger and better than, than most beauty pageants that, that are yeah. my level. Yes. Um, so they're going to go on holiday to Marrakesh for a week, yeah. big photo shoot out there. We'll, we'll hire a luxury yacht, they'll have a photo shoot on there um, in the UK. Then we have about 30 supercars this year, which um, we're going to get together and mm. there'll be another photo shoot. So right. it's all about giving the ladies a platform yep. to then follow their dreams. Yeah, um, and in addition to that, what you mentioned earlier, the BB Awards, mm. they, these are people that have really achieved yes. um, in, in their chosen profession. And we wanted to recognize yeah. um, the, the people there. So that's mostly ladies again that yep. have been awarded. Um, and they don't have to pay for the awards or anything. They're, they're just kind of, it's all by the public. So there's no small panel no. deciding, right, you get the award or you it's don't. It's, it's the public that will decide yeah. who receives the awards. Mm -hmm. So that's been really successful. We had 30 awards that we gave away yes. um, this, like, earlier on this week. Mm -hmm. And we had 45 contestants in the beauty pageant. Yeah. Um, so it's I, an amazing it day. was really successful. And, and it's the thanks to, to our team, thanks to people like Nina that, that kind of supports us, to, yeah. to yourself as a thank channel that's supporting us yeah. as well. So really appreciate that Thank you. Um, we had uh, uh, another host there Tommy Sandu yes. who's, who works for the BBC has come down and supported us yeah. um, you know really from from the team that we have um, just really really thankful to everyone that that come out and support us and we've got two minutes left so let's yeah. talk quickly about your bodyguard business yes just quickly tell us about bodyguarding that. that's what I'm known for for yeah. the last 25 years I've been a bodyguard um, and bodyguarding all the celebrities mostly Bollywood mostly the Bachchan family yeah. so Amita Bachchan and his family mm -hmm. um, going around the world with the family um, with the IFRA awards so really kind of getting involved in that mm. and really love that as a passion so mm. actually on Monday I'm bodyguarding another A-lister right. this Monday can't say who it is no. but there's a big film Ooh. release happening so I'll be there my team will be there there's going to be about 25 of us right. um, bodyguarding yeah. so it's crowd control under bodyguarding Fantastic. as well so I've got the whole contract so, so really pleased. Like Nina there's never enough on your plate is there? You always want to be. <laughs> there, there, there is, an, and, and, and again, I want to you know, give something back as well. So, yeah. well, I think um, that was amazing. I just want to say that, yes. you know, for me to, to it's um, so, such a pleasure getting involved with someone like you because, you, you know, he has the opportunity to not do anything. You know, mm. he had a career. He has achieved a lot of things. Yes. He chose to spend his time and, 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 you know, and do so much work to give back. Yes. Uh, and that's why it's such a pleasure to work with someone Thank like you. him and he inspired a lot of others. And he 
giving opportunities to to the new generation and and women and people out there. Oh, that, um, that's lovely, you. Nina. I mean, yeah. the, the uh, <laughs> I love the both of you. You're both great people um, with good hearts, and that we need more people like you in the world. Yeah. I have to say. If I have 30 seconds more, I just want to know. You do, uh, literally 20 uh, seconds. Yeah, 20 <laughs> seconds. Right. There's, there's a new uh, thing. I'm launching a clothing brand. Mm. Nothing on the league of Nina's, <laughs> but but this is we're going to bring in new designers mm -hmm. so they can have a chance to design our clothing. Oh. They get a percentage of the profits. Amazing. The models that are going to be used in our uh, for the modelling shoots campaigns, yep. they will receive a percentage of the profit. Oh, so if anyone's lovely. interested, get in touch. Yeah, and, and also launching we, that. we might. Okay, thank you, my producers. Just told me forty seconds left. So on that note, I will tell you that if you want to be involved in the UK BB Awards or to get in contact with Yusuf Khan, please contact the TV station, the email. Um, and we are looking for sponsors. So if you're listening, anyone, please do get in touch. We're going to a commercial break shortly and we shall see you soon. So welcome back to NTV Unscripted. I'm Victoria Beal, your host. Uh, you have met with so far the wonderful Yusuf Khan and the wonderful Nina Nastal. Um, we have a third guest who is dialing all the way in from the USA. And his name is Jeff Vanderpoel. Jeff, can you hear me? Do we have Jeff? We've lost him. Screen's frozen. Okay. Back to, back to me then. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fine. Well, well, before Jeff joins us, um, let's talk a bit more about uh, Youssef. So we're talking about the um, Drop the Knife Succeed in Life campaign yes. with the community. Do you want to just elaborate on what this actually does? Because we, we've touched on it and then we uh, went on to your bodyguarding earlier. Yeah, sure. I mean, with, with the Drop the Knife Succeed in Life, it's all about helping vulnerable kids in school. Um, that are kind of getting themselves into trouble um, and we're just there to help to guide them and the way we do that is we put them on a 10 weeks boxing program um, and it can be at any boxing club um, so we, we will provide the funding mm -hmm. for, for the children to go on to that program mm. and the, the, the way that they can stay on the program is if their grades or their behaviour um, improves in school right. um, and, and in addition to that we will say so once they've left school um, we will still continue to mentor them and um, hopefully get them into a job or help them to take on boxing as a profession. And the, because you own a bodyguarding business, yes. then you take we quite a few of them, them in as, a, as apprentices as well. Correct. Which so is great. Yeah. we can get them on a, it wouldn't be bodyguarding straight away, but they can get the door supervisor. The license, it takes yeah. only four days to get that license. Right. It's a lot easier and then they can start earning money with right. the license. And Nina, what attracted you to this uh, <laughs> wonderful project with yourself um, being involved? I, I think, obviously, uh, you know, Yusuf is putting so much of his time and effort um, into everything he does. Mm. And this is all about giving back and helping people. Mm. Um, and, you know, he has an opportunity to, you know, live his life and, and don't have to do these things. And I, I think it's very... Um, admirable that he's putting so much time and effort into helping people, giving awareness, uh, bringing amazing people together. Um, we have a fantastic team that we've been be lucky to work with and uh, work together with mm -hmm. and everybody's putting in their effort um, and obviously thanks to Yusuf to, to put his time and effort in putting this together. Yes, um, and yes. obviously being a mother myself, uh, you know, the things that he stands for, the morals and the achievements, like he said, is for him and some of the things that he does is not only about putting it in place, but he always has to follow up mm -hmm. and make sure that, you know, it's a personal uh, thing for mm -hmm. him that he wants really that, you know, yeah. a result and a continuously uh, achievement from, from yeah. whoever is kind of either it's the kids or the, you know, the girls that we given opportunity. Yeah. To, to move into a direction of where they want to yes. be. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, from one person who gives opportunities to another person to now Jeff. I believe Jeff has joined us again. We have you back, sir. Can you hear uh, me? Hi, guys. I can hear you perfectly. Hello. Good, good. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. What time is this? Where are you, first of all? Uh, I am in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yes. And it's a little after one in the afternoon. Just after one in the afternoon. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, wonderful to have you here. Obviously, we have had two previous guests before you came on earlier, and um, it's all really about show business this uh, this uh, episode. And you are now providing opportunity for pretty much anyone uh, to audition for um, a film, um, whether that's Netflix or Hollywood or whatever. 
So tell um, us about your early days, where you grew up um, and then your early career and then we'll move on to the, the new venture. Sure. Uh, and can you guys see me? I can't, I can't see you anymore. anymore but you we can, can see you. We can see you perfectly clear. <laughs> You're uh, live on TV. <laughs> all right. I'm on TV. Well, I can't see that back, but uh, hi. So, um, yeah, my father was in the government. I lived all over the world, Okinawa, England, Austria, Holland. My mom was born in Vienna, my father in The Hague. So my background and my roots are definitely in Europe. Lived in England myself for three and a half years. Loved it. Loved the Brits. Got to save the Queen. Loved it. Uh, I remember the Conkers with a fond memory in the schoolyards. I remember Guy Fawkes Day. I remember Zed Cars, Softly Softly Task Force. So I'm uh, going way back now. And even Fish and Chips in a newspaper. How about that? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a wonderful time of my life. And then my background is just so much, so all over the place, really. I've done everything. And the power of Wi-Fi. We've lost Jeff again, I believe. <laughs> oh, bless you. He'll come back again soon. Right, so we're going to carry on talking about this because Jeff has created this platform, yeah. basically, called Stardom Chance. And it's going to give as I say, the average Joe, anyone of any background, ethical, whatever, mm. to be or take part in a Hollywood film, whether that be as a director, producer, um, a star, leading man, leading lady, whatever. What do you guys think about this opportunity? Because you've both looked into it as well, and I'm yeah. obviously going to be part of it, hopefully. Um, I mean, I think it's amazing what he's doing, mm. because I think that the world and the, the world of opportunities are shifting, and the focus on who is being focused on is also shifting. I think we all know that obviously a lot of the people that gets attention is people on YouTube or reality stars mm -hmm. or you know people in, in you know that either does something crazy or you know um, is lucky to hit a stream with something or is very good of selling themselves. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have a talent mm. and I think it takes you know like mm. in the old days you know it takes attention away from from the raw talent and the really upcoming youth that has amazing talent that needs to be seen mm. uh, and what he's doing giving them opportunity to submit whatever their talent is yes and and you know to be able to show that off and have professionals viewing it I, I think that's incredible yeah I agree I agree and yes yeah. what's the strategy I, to the project I think it's amazing that um, Jeff is actually with, with stardom chance is now giving yeah. the opportunities to people that would never receive the opportunity mm. and and I think you know as Nina said it's 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 a very crowded market out there yeah. and, um, and sometimes it's not what, how talented you are, it's who you know Correct. Uh, that gets you in front of the yes. right director yeah. and I know that from Bollywood to yeah. some extent but I won't go into that mm. detail but it just happens everywhere, you know, Hollywood, Bollywood, any other nation that, that produces films um, so I think this is absolutely amazing mm. um, and I really wish, you know, Jeff all the best in this and, and you know, if there's any way that we can support definitely be there yeah well we're all definitely supporting him it's a shame that our wi-fi um situation isn't working That's today technology for you technology for you you know <laughs> <laughs> so there we go and the power of live tv as well what do we do so but i just i do want to talk about this because he's also jeff has also uh, put an nft platform around this whole thing um do you guys understand the the nft uh Platform or not in relation to the movies it, no, just, and getting yeah. into that I understand it as artwork mm. um, and, then, and then there's a code against that and you know these NFTs do sell for a lot of money yeah. but how that's now linked into the movie side maybe it's an income generator yes I, I'm not sure if, it, if it, I know elaborate. a little bit about it yes. I'm actually about to launch uh, my own NFT later this year combined with my new song um, and I have also a good friend of mine Tyree Stone they made um, uh, a coin combined mm -hmm. with the movie industry uh, so you know at his concept I don't mm -hmm. know what exactly the concept is mm -hmm. um, with Jeff but uh, it's, it's that you know people uh, buy the coins the and that gives yeah. you obviously uh, opportunities within the movie industry yes um, and uh, obviously the more people get involved the bigger the project gets and you know people make money out of it mm. Uh, so, but obviously there is a lot of different concepts within different industries. Um, you know, obviously if the projects, if you, and if these can also be um, like an ownership of something, mm. it's is a value of something. Obviously, 
that you're buying into yes. um, and that obviously can increase but mm. um, it's, it's, it's a very new market for some mm. yes. but obviously it's the same with NFTs, crypto, you know that whole world. Yes. It's, I, I do believe it's here to stay so yeah. I, I think it's amazing <coughs> that he's also kind of adding that into the, the, yes. the project. Oh, it's, a, it's very very disruptive the yeah. whole thing. Stardomchance.com if you're interested <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been told to say goodbye to everyone, but before I do, um, stardomchance.com, if you want to um, be a participant or enter into a film, please, please take that, that URL down. Before we go, um, lovely to see you both. Thank you for joining me in the studio today, mm -hmm. Nina Nastel and Yusuf Khan, Thank and you. we will be seeing them again, and I look forward to seeing you at home again soon. Take care. Have a great evening.